thank you, thank you, every one of you. You've worked so hard for so long. <clears throat> and so have all these people up here. Yes. <laughs> But we need to remember that our greatest asset is all the people in our state. The people who live here, the families who work here, who retire here, get an education and a job, and even those who start businesses here in our state. You know, I remember in Iowa where we banded together, where the word community meant making sure that everybody had a fair shot. Well, we need to get back to that. And even if we aren't happy with tonight's results, the fight, conti the fight continues. I just got off the phone with Governor Reynolds, and I congratulated her on her re-election. But I also urged her to represent all of Iowa in her first full term. <laughs> and to listen to all those people who talked about the importance of education and health care and job training and the need to make changes in those areas in our state. You know, when you look around our country, you see other states are paying the price for failing to make the investments in the people. Oklahoma can only afford a four-day school week. Kansas increased tuition costs more than 20 percent. And let's hope that Iowa stops going down that same road. Yeah. While tonight didn't turn out the way we would have liked, the energy and the support that we have received along the way is proof that a lot of Iowans know we need change. Yeah. And it's my sincere hope that in her first full term, Governor Reynolds will listen to those voices loud and clear. Yeah. We may feel discouraged, we may feel let down, but with so many lives impacted by these policies, we don't have the luxury of giving up. We must continue to give, it, to give a voice to the teacher in the crowded classroom. Those with pre-existing conditions and Iowans who rely on Medicaid. Rita Hart, you've been a great partner these last few months. I couldn't have asked for a better running mate. And I've got so many amazing members of my team that helped us all throughout this campaign over these last 18 months. I can't possibly list all of them tonight, but I would ask them to raise their hand because they deserve a big round of applause. Come on, get your hands up. I want to specifically mention our campaign manager, Michelle. It's a tough job trying to corral uh, somebody who's never run for office before. And, and all the other people on our campaign team and, and work with all the thousands of people we've done across the state, but she did a great job. <laughs> but our entire team worked very hard. You gave everything you had to this campaign. And I want to particularly thank our field team and our volunteers, many of you in this room tonight, who knocked on so many doors, <laughs> made so many phone calls, and sent so many text messages to people explaining how important it was to get out and vote. But most important to me, I also want to thank my wife, Charlotte. Yeah. She's been my partner for the last 42 years, and we still have a few years left. <laughs> and, I, and I know tomorrow she's going to be the first one to tell me to get up off the couch and get back to work. 
But I also want to congratulate Attorney General Tom Miller on a great race. And State Treasurer Mike Fitzgerald on a record 10th term. And Iowa's first two Congresswomen, Cindy Ashney and Abby Fickenauer.